Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. During my trip to Niagara, I filmed a video in partnership with Neutrogena showing you every step of my get unready with me after a long day of traveling. It involves a lot of relaxation and just making myself at home in my new location for the night which was Niagara Falls. It was absolutely stunning there. I'm always trying to balance self-care with my busy life and this past week was an especially busy one. It was a busy week week at the office and it also was a very busy week given the recent launch of my line. So walking right into the hotel, I knew I was just going to go upstairs and really enjoy the location and have a night of self-care where I could really cleanse and revitalize my skin so that I could start the trip with clean, healthy and radiant skin and just mentally feel really refreshed as well. So the first step of that was unpacking the suitcase a little bit, getting all my toiletries out and then before cleansing Cleansing my skin, I always make sure that I remove all of my jewelry and then reach for products that are appropriate to how my skin is feeling and my skin type. So after I travel, for sure my skin is always quite sensitive and dry and these products really help to keep it from drying out any further. So my first step is just to tie back my hair and then I go ahead and pull out some of the Neutrogena hydrating wipes. And I was really excited to partner with Neutrogena on this video because I've been using these hydrating makeup removing wipes for many, many years. Especially when I travel, I find them incredibly effective because they don't dry out my skin any further. If my skin is feeling a little bit sensitive because of the flight and the dry air on the flight, I find that they help to really soothe my skin as well. And they just do such a good job at removing makeup that even is waterproof or long lasting so it usually just takes me a couple of gentle swipes on my face without pulling at my skin to remove all of the foundation blush highlighter and other products that I have on my face and then I do like to use the liquid eye makeup remover because my mascara is especially stubborn and so what I do is I use two flat cotton pads and go ahead and just gently leave them on my eye area and this really feels incredibly refreshing and like spa time um, and it doesn't rub at my eye area at all if my eyes are feeling sore it feels like a little massage and I just go ahead and manage to remove all of my mascara eyeliner and bra product in one swipe and then it's time for the second and final step of my double cleansing routine so I'm using the Neutrogena ultra gentle cleanser and I really like that it foams gently but it doesn't over dry my skin one little tip I have for you is to go ahead and run a facial towel like this one under some warm water and then just do a gentle exfoliation with the cleanser it's the little things that really make the difference with a self-care night routine and this is one of those that just feels so incredibly pampering after a long-haul flight or after being in the city for a long time I know I'm always really surprised that such a layer of grime still comes off during that second step of the double cleansing routine. I look at the towel and I'm always a little bit mortified but it also makes me really happy that I took the time to properly cleanse my skin because then the next day once I've applied my moisturizer and had a good night's sleep I just feel so incredibly radiant and refreshed and like I'm able to start my trip with a clean slate whether it be for business or pleasure. I finished off my evening routine with a little bit of of this really nice serum that I've also been enjoying for a long time. It's a gentle retinol treatment so I find that on my skin it just really helps to plump and moisturize and just revitalize it overnight so I just apply a thin layer all over the face and then I move on with my evening routine. So this room happened to have a particularly fabulous jetted tub so I felt like it was my duty to take advantage of it and have a relaxing soap so I went ahead and poured in some bubbly products in a pretty pink color and then I just ran quite a warm bath and just added a little bit more hot water as I soaked and having that bath and really trying to keep my legs elevated throughout the evening really helped with any puffiness that I often experience after flying. Then I went ahead and made myself a cup of green tea to enjoy which really helps to keep me hydrated, plump my skin from the inside out and then I did have a little bit of work to do so I went ahead and got that done just as efficiently as I could in about an hour. 
while enjoying my green tea and that amazing view of the falls that I showed you earlier. It was just so stunning that getting to enjoy it in such a peaceful way was actually just wonderful and such a treat. Um, so once I finished my work and my green tea, I just decided to have an early night. We just found that that really helps to adjust with the jet lag. So I read a book for about another half an hour to an hour and then decided to call it a day and start the day fresh after having done a full self-care routine that was just such a pleasure and a rare treat for me given my usual schedule and it helped me to start the trip with a fresh mindset and healthy radiant skin. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see my other installments on style and beauty, then make sure you subscribe and give this video a like. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next installment.